Welcome back to Great Day. For our next guest, a life-changing incident that was expected to take his life turned around and brought new life to an idea that he says came straight out of heaven. The idea? The world's most delicious cheesecake. Here to explain this miraculous story is Kenneth and Winston Brooks, owners of Masterpiece Desserts. And, of course, Slim Thug is still with us because this is one of his favorite desserts. Good morning. Good morning. These are heavenly, divine-inspired desserts, yes, and there's a reason for that, because at one point you thought you were going to heaven. Oh, yeah. What and happened? Uh, so I have asthma. I've had asthma as a kid growing up and everything. Um, but one day um, I got, I had the flu, mm -hmm. and the asthma combination with the flu caused me to have cardiac arrest that lasted for four and a half minutes. Wow. And yes, so they thought even if you did pull through, there would be brain damage and some other neurological issues as well. Correct. And obviously that did not happen. It did not. And you owe that to the man upstairs? Yes, ma'am. Okay. But you, yes, that's an amen. That's an amen, amen. right? <laughs> so during this time, where were you, Winsome? Um, I was in the apartment when it was happening. I was actually coming home, going to my next job. And so I stopped there just to check on Kenneth. And he was having an asthma attack. So it got to the point where I just had to call the paramedics because it was beyond our control. Yeah. When doctors look at you and say, look, we just want to make sure you understand, he's probably not going to make it. What was your first response? Like, I was really confused because I, it just, it was just so overwhelming. Yeah. I was confused and I just didn't want to take the news as it was yeah. given to me. Yeah. All right. We're looking at the table here. There's a setup of, of cheesecakes and they're all set up in three, 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 three. Three is a big number for you and very symbolic. Yes, ma'am. So the number three, um, it comes into my life for one. It's happened to me on March the 3rd. Mm -hmm. March the 3rd is exactly three months away from my birthday, which is June the 3rd. I was 23 when this happened. I was in a coma for three days. I had been married for three years. I woke up and was in the hospital recovering for three days and went home. Yeah, Father, Son, Holy Ghost. That's the power of three, right? <laughs> right? Okay. Slim, how did you first uh, come uh, to know these cheesecakes? Well, uh, I go to a gym, a local gym out here, one to one. The gym and cheesecake goes together. Yeah. <laughs> right, yeah. right. Ain't that crazy? Like, so while I'm in there trying to lose weight, he's in there trying to make me gain weight, <laughs> serving these. But, you know, it's a small portion, and, you know, as a cheesecake, it's the healthiest version you can find. So I gave it a shot. Yeah. You know, and I love sweets, you know. And you love these I right love here. It. Yeah. I love it. Okay, so connect us to the kind of, you went through your, the situation where you almost died, but then where did cheesecake come from? Uh, so after waking up out of the hospital, I spent some time at home recovering, and while at home, I had a taste for cheesecake. Mm -hmm. And I'm lactose intolerant. I don't eat cheesecake. Uh -huh. <laughs> so, so I thought, how can I make a cheesecake more interesting and more appealing? And I came up with the sweet potato cheesecake, which is our number one seller. Sweet potato cheesecake. Oh, yeah. oh there's one right over there. Hand oh, yeah. that over to me. Oh, I'm just trying to, this is kind of interesting. This is why you say kind of like it was like divine or, or there's divine intervention and in you coming up with this idea. Because I had a brain aneurysm and when I woke up, I, there was nothing going on with me. I was like, <laughs> there, was, there was no cheesecake inventions, no, nothing like that. But here we go. All right. And, oh, my goodness. <laughs> I hope my mother is not watching this morning because I think her sweet potato pie just got replaced. <laughs> this is delicious. And I love the point you made. You're in serving sizes that right. are nice and cool, right? Of so course. you all, you will cater, you do all kinds of things for folks. This kind of grew, didn't it? Of course. So, uh, so we do our catering. We have a food trailer where we do our mobile cafe, which uh, we do hot brewed coffee our hot chocolates, our cheesecake, and our espresso brownies. Mm -hmm. And then we also have our vegan cheesecake option um, that we bought the Slim Thug initially. Um, he loved that, but then he switched over to our original strawberry yeah. cheesecake. Yeah, I think he's switching to all of them, but like if I was right. six foot six, I could do this all the time. Yeah. Too. It's, diet, it's diet cake, I like the color. Yeah, diet cake, yeah. all right. Yeah. So, and you just, you never like stop on just inventing things. You just put flavors together. And that's, I think, what makes it so cool is that it's non-conventional, yes, right? So you just open up your mind and use your imagination. What's the, probably the strangest one you've ever made? Uh, the strangest one that I've ever made was a candy bacon cheesecake. Mm, that's not strange. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that sounds really good. Oh, yeah. Okay, and then, of course, there's your plain one, but you can top them with anything you yes, want. So let's get some toppings on All there. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to replicate our picture we have here with our strawberry, our turtle, and our Oreo cheesecake. So we're going to start by adding on some Oreo. Mm. Mm -hmm. And that's already good by itself, so if oh, you put yeah. it with the cheesecake, now it's just mo' better, oh, right? Yeah. Okay. So we're going to do this. 
And while you're doing that, Winston, uh, let me ask you, there are so many people out there who have an idea or a thought in their head, and sometimes they don't really take off on it unless something catastrophic happens. Like, you know, you almost lose your life and you see life a little bit differently, right? Seize it when you can. Mm -hmm. What do you have to say to those people who have an idea or a thought and are just sitting on it? Uh, don't be afraid. Just go for it. Uh, one of the, uh, we call him a mentor. He's actually the owner of St. Arnold's uh, mm -hmm, Beer. Really? Mm -hmm. And he told us Brock. that when you do mm -hmm. Brock, Brock Wagner, mm -hmm. he, he told us, you know, whenever you do something in life, just make sure you do it big. So if you're going to do it, you know, just do it. Do it. Yeah, yeah. All right. Okay, I love your voice. Can I tell you? Can I get you to say, rolling on the real <laughs> Really? Right yeah, now? Yeah, really, really, right now. Rolling on the real Yes. <laughs> Yes. All right. And then there you go. Look how pretty that is. It's so gorgeous. And so you can have these for all kinds of reasons. But thank you very much for sharing your story, well, your testimony you. with us. And I love seeing a couple work together like this. Slim, thank you for dropping by, coming back to H-Town, doing good things in the community. And for more information on Masterpiece Desserts, we have a link on greatdayhouston.com. And by the way, why did you name it Masterpiece Desserts? Because it's truly a masterpiece. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Because this cheesecake right here was a blank canvas to create any art you wanted to, and so he did. All right.